Alright, hey guys, it's JForce Gaming here, and um, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a splash screen in Unity Free Edition or Personal Edition or whatever you call. So I'm using the free version, not the paid version. So you, the thing is, you in the free version, you will definitely have the default uh, Unity splash screen. But this tutorial is going to teach you how you can make your own splash screen after the default splash screen because you cannot splash screen in uh, basically the free edition so um yeah so uh so um let's begin then all right so um first thing first you um this so um so i have two scenes so basically um for example like um this one is your game scene so i'm going to save this as um, splash screen so uh, i'm going to see i'm going to save this as splash okay so so this one is my splash scene and this one is basically your game so um so the splash screen will start when the user load out the game and after that you will load um, the, your game itself so i'm going to show you how you can do this in unity personal edition so open up a splash screen so um, this so what you're going to do now is um right click go to ui and open up select canvas at canvas you will see every of this thing you're going to click on add component and search for canvas group canvas group there you go so we we're gonna just leave this here. We're not, not gonna change anything. We can just we can also um this is not actually important, but uh, I prefer it unselected. So it's just a splash screen. So um what we're gonna do next is um go to UI again, open up an image. So this image will be your splash image. So basically your logo or anything you want to display it at the start of the game. So uh so the source image but first I'm gonna resize this so I'm gonna like click on this one the pivot and I'm gonna alternate and shift and click on stretch so you're gonna cover up the whole area you could see right here yep so from here um, import your logo so this is my logo right here so I'm gonna just um, click on the image and just push it in here there you go so this is my logo so um but for my background is the default skybox which I don't want it. So uh what I can do is go to scene. What I can do is go down to window, lightning, settings, and from here you'll see this settings box right here. This um it says default skybox, which I don't want it. I want just a black background. So what I'm gonna do is just find an object that is black, something that is black. Yeah, you can just select um, so this one looks quite black you can just import your own black image or any black skybox you want or whatever color you want behind so you can just download from the unity asset store they have a lot of this kind of stuff so it can just be anything okay so you're done with it so it'll be black so um it will, it will display like that but but it's kind of lame like um, after you need this splash screen it shows up this image like just pop up instantly so it's like not professional at all so we want it to be like slowly like um slowly like fade in then and after that it will just start to fade out again so it looks more it looks much better right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna need a script for that so uh we're gonna just go down our scripts so we're gonna create a c sharp script so we're gonna just call it a um splash script okay So for this, for this splash script, okay, uh, we're gonna just delete the update because we don't need an update in, in the splash screen. So uh, what we will need to do is, uh, before we start, we need to import the scene management because after this, so because after the splash screen, it will need to um, move on to the next scene, basically your game itself. So. We're gonna we gonna import the Unity Engine Scene Management. So um, Unity Engine, there you go. 
dot scene management and pop up right there and then after there we go and we are done with it so now at void start void start um uh, before we start before we start this thing i uh we're going to add a add, uh, private boolean uh let's call this finish goes to false we set it as false you will know why later on as the as we start typing our codes so we go leave the void start um as it is first we go create a function i emulator i don't know how to pronounce this thing but um it's i e and num i e numerator or something i can't pronounce this but um go make this function and then we go um name it whichever so i go just um name it as do fit there you go all right so we have our function here and um because um if you remember previously uh i created a canvas group right uh, in the canvas section so we need to get the components so we need to uh, type canvas group okay we just call name it canvas group you get component you have to get component function um, canvas group there we go okay canvas group okay and then any off if two double brackets and we're done so we're gonna need a loop so this loop basically does um, slowly fade in as the number increase so we don't need I will do you can do a for loop you can do a while loop I prefer while loop because uh, uh, because we need to return something so I prefer to use while loop so we can name canvas group our specified one which is this one this thing right here so canvas group group dot alpha if you remember correctly um in the main section here under the canvas we can see the canvas group alpha so this alpha is basically the um the transparency of the image of the canvas itself so we want this to like slowly fit in and fade out so we need to set it to one after that one to zero again so um canvas group dot alpha so we need to fit in right so fit in is less than one so you fit in to one then you stop so uh, okay in the while loop we go type in canvas group oh wait my, my apologies is this thing it's a small c canvas group dot alpha plus equals time dot delta time okay so you will slowly add up number as the time goes by and then we're going to return nothing here now All right so we're done with this so it will fit into one then it will show your image And afterwards we want it to fade out right so we need another loop again so wow so because after it finished looping this one it will go on to the next loop so we need to fade out so um it's, we do the same so leave space here canvas group dot alpha again now need to be more than zero so it will slowly fade out same um, it's the same thing canvas group dot the alpha now we need a minus so minus equals time dot delta time it looks simple same same we're gonna use why I yeah, we'll return now again okay so we are done with the loop but um but if you can see if we if we do this if we do this all right it's gonna like fit in and then fade out instantly but we don't want that i want it to be much professional so you'll fade in and then just maybe wait for one second and then you'll fade out again so 
So how am I gonna do that is um after after it fade in okay we need to return return new okay wait for seconds so basically you hold for the amount of specified seconds you want so wait for seconds uh, I prefer to set as one you can um, if you want it to display longer you can um, wait for two seconds or three seconds or 1.1 second or which uh, how, how long you want it to be I prefer set as one okay so you wait for one second before going into this loop right so after it's done after this okay so after this is done this loop is done okay next you return another value which is finish equals to true why why we need to return true for this so basically after it is finished okay we will need another function which is the private void let's update so for this late update is after everything here is finished after everything here finished it will do this function and then from after this function it will load your game scene so we're gonna do an if statement so if finish equals to true i'm gonna use the scene manager eh? it's spelled s-c-e-n-e -E. scene manager dot load scene okay so this is what your name of the game itself so after the splash screen you load this screen right the game scene which is the main so um, if you name it as whatever it is you want to load please make sure you specify correctly the scene itself so i'm uh, i'm loading main main okay uh, you can just specify this but i prefer the load scene mode so um, it has less of a less faults uh, in my opinion uh, to the load scene load scene once load scene mode dot single all right there we go close bracket so after this is done so this is now false right so we're gonna start so after this is done you'll be true and then if it's true you will load your game we will proceed on loading your game so um so at the void start we're gonna start protein um this function so it's a oh what's this what's this press start protein do fate yeah, well this is the function excuse me oh all right so now we are done with the fade in and fade out so we're gonna click on save and under our scripts that's uh, scripts Let's see our splash script so we're gonna just move this splash script into the canvas here we go canvas so our current alpha is zero so if you hit on play, alright, it should fade in and then fade out and then it will load. So yeah, so everything is done here. Okay, and by default you have to set your canvas to zero the like alpha to zero by default if not if you set the one right you click play right you'll do nothing you and then after you'll fade out so you'll not fade in so you need default as zero 
on play and it should fade in and afterward fade out yeah but the thing is click on play you will show a logo and then after that you will fade out but you will not load your game why? because you need to specify you need to build first you need to build settings and then you got to add open scenes so the splash screen and that's the main skin so we'll save this first then we go to our main scene our main scene right so we will file build settings add open scenes then we go, we go to main and we go splash screen so after that after that we can hit on back to our splash screen splash scene <laughs> right if you hit play it should load your logo and after that load the main scene yeah so that's how you can so that's how you guys um made your own splash screen in the free edition unfortunately you can not remove the um, default splash screen but technically you can but it's against their terms of service so i will not be doing a tutorial on how you can remove the default splash screen if you wanted to publish your game so um, it's illegal to remove the splash screen if you tend to publish your game if you don't tend to publish publish your game there's other tutorial out there which um, will show you how you can um, remove the default splash screen so yeah so that's how you guys um can make your own splash screen in unity version uh free version and that's all for today um hope you guys find this tutorial helpful and hopefully you find me less naggy because i'm trying to go through every single details for you to understand what is going on and so on so um yeah if you if this helped you please give it a like give it a thumbs up and really subscribe for more of this type of videos and yeah it's Joban from JForce Gaming and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. Peace out.